Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I have some news and some new information to share with you guys regarding the premium edition of Grand Theft Auto 5. This being something which you guys may have heard a bit about in the last few weeks or so. In fact, it was roughly two months back that this was first leaked, initially by Amazon. Yes, the huge online retailer and marketplace. They accidentally listed a new edition or new version of GTA 5 on the German version of their marketplace and named it the Grand Theft Auto 5 Premium Edition. Now, surprisingly, the listing did stay up and was viewable for quite some time. I know loads of players, including myself, had the opportunity to see this and review it for ourselves. But there wasn't really much in the terms of details as to exactly what this new premium edition of the game was even going to be. Other than it was going to be a new version, it was being named the premium edition, it was going to be released on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and that it was going to be sold at the price of €69.95, Euros, which is approximately $85. And as you can see in this screenshot, a release date of March 23rd was listed, but as we'll discuss in a few moments, this didn't end up being the case. In fact, roughly a month afterwards, just before March 23rd, an anonymous inside source over at Rockstar Games came out and spoke about the premium edition and explained, because of the delayed update we received last month, the San Andreas Supersport series update, the premium edition has been pushed back with a release date in April. And it was this same source who also revealed exactly what this premium edition was going to be. They explained it was simply going to be a standard version or a standard copy of GTA 5 bundled with the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. And that's it. Nothing special, no remastered or 4K version, no exclusive content or anything like that. It was literally going to be a standard copy of GTA 5 with the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. But until now, this information has been nothing but rumours and leaks. Early today, two separate sources shared images which appear to reveal the game covers of this premium edition, both for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. We'll start off with this image right here. It was shared by a user on Twitter who claims to be an employee for the Game Store game which is based in the UK. He explained the store received this yesterday and it was promotional artwork for the premium edition of the game but apparently isn't for use just yet. He also shared this as well, which is the rear cover of the Xbox One edition, which as you can see, just explains all about GTA 5 and exactly what you get by buying this version. Of course, featuring the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and all the free items you get and the money as well when you buy this version. Then a second source, I believe this one was shared by GTA Series Videos, shared this image on Twitter, which as you can see, shows the same game, but this time for the PlayStation 4, with the artwork being pretty much identical. So by the looks of things, a number of retailers and people have now received artwork and copies of this edition in preparation for it to go on sale, which of course is a pretty standard thing. Usually companies and retailers will receive artwork and copies of the game at least a few days days before they begin marketing it and selling them. So this most likely means Rockstar will be making an announcement about this very, very soon. Often Rockstar make announcements about this sort of thing on Fridays. So who knows, maybe tomorrow as I'm making this video, Rockstar will officially announce this new version or edition of the game, Grand Theft Auto V, the premium online edition. Now, although this part isn't definite, what we do know, though, is that this, yes, is a thing. There is a premium edition of this game, but unfortunately, all it is, is a standard copy of the game with the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. So, unfortunately, no, this isn't a new version of the game or an enhanced or improved version or anything like that with exclusive content and whatnot. It's literally just a new bundle with a fancy name, something which Rockstar hasn't really tried before, and by the looks of things, is trying because they are very, very close to the 100 million copies sold of this game. Rockstar recently surpassed 90 million, so my guess being Rockstar's offering this to try and encourage as many game sales as possible to hit that massive 100 million copies. Anyway, but there we go then guys, with that being said, that's pretty much it then for this video. So like I said, hopefully Rockstar will make an official announcement about this at some point over the next few days, of course confirming exactly when this will go on sale and for how much. 
Like I said, Amazon did leak a price of 69.95 euros, which is approximately $85. And I'd imagine Rockstar will be selling this around that sort of price. And as for a release date, well, if the inside source who made the leak last month was correct, it's going to be released at some point this month. So Rockstar only have 11 days or so left of this month to announce and release this new edition. Anyway, but there we go then guys, that is it then for this video. Of course, I want to get your thoughts and feelings on this information, so go ahead and leave a comment. If you guys could also drop a like as well on this video, it would of course be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.